Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, social media technology, and items of interest that come up during the week that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. If this is your first time here to the channel or you are a returning visitor, I would ask you guys now to click on that watermark down there in the bottom right hand corner to subscribe. That way you guys will continue to get the Friday vlogs as well as content here on the channel. In gaming news this week, things still seem to be centered around Call of Duty's Warzone and Call of Duty Plunder, which are both excellent games. And I think that Activision really has a hit on their hands, as we saw up to 64 million players over the weekend. And of course, there were some issues on Monday with Blizzard and connectivity issues, but I'm hoping as of today, a lot of that has been corrected. I did do a video on a beginner's guide to the Plunder mode. If you guys want to check that out, I have a link for you up there in the top right hand corner. Corner. But nonetheless, it has been a lot of fun, and I will put some additional links below this video pertaining to the game if you guys want to check those out. Clearly, the biggest topic, not only in the United States, but around the world, is the current illness that is going around that we, as YouTube creators, cannot mention by name because uh, we will get demonetized if not suppressed in our videos. Now, this has been a huge topic, and we saw a very kind of troubling tweet from YouTube on Monday that essentially said that uh, because of the current illness that is going around, a lot of the employees are working from home and that the AI will be handling a bulk of the video checks and policy procedures and that videos may get removed even though they do not violate any of the terms of policies or in terms of service and so forth. So that's kind of concerning because you have to remember, it is the, the AI doesn't just look at what videos we are currently uploading for any type of terms of service breaches or other issues, right? It is looking through all of our videos, regardless of how long you've been on the platform. Now, it may not go as far back as 10 years or so, but it can go back to a certain period in time because I have been affected by my second, or I have been affected with some of my second amendment videos. So some of those have been flagged and I've been going kind of back and forth with those. They get released, they don't get released, and which is another thing they're being addressed. But obviously uh, across the world, the biggest issue is the current illness that is going on. Here in the United States, we're already seeing some hard quarantines, particularly in say Rochelle, New York, where the National Guard has been called in to kind of maintain levels of order and try to keep everything contained. And of course, the word of the day or word of the week, or perhaps the word of several months is social distancing. And with social distancing, we're seeing a lot of businesses, industries, companies, organizations, church groups, all sorts of activities that people typically engage in where there will be more than, you know, 10 or 15 or 10 or 15, 10 or 50 more people have uh, been pretty much uh, shut down or canceled. Uh, the other day I had to make a phone call for my parents to check on uh, getting the dog's nails clipped and you know the pricing and so forth. So I made the call and they said they were not taking any appointments for that type of you know for like grooming and uh, at least for the next three weeks. So this is going across the board. I know for example that friends of mine and family have had certain doctor's appointments canceled, hair appointments canceled, uh, events, uh, different activities that they were going to do to participate in. My niece and nephews are, are in uh, plays and, and so forth like that with uh, art companies and stuff. And all of that has been pretty much uh, limited or shut down. The kids, I think, still participate in the activities, but I'm not sure what all has been limited. Schools, at least in my area right now, have been closed down, I think, through spring break or through uh, the next several weeks. And we're just uh, at this point just trying to get it contained and keep uh, you know everyone safe and healthy. Yes, I'm having to be very careful with my language. So if it sounds kind of jittery and sketchy, it's because I'm trying to avoid using certain terms and certain words. But I'm sure you guys understand uh, what I'm trying to say and what I'm trying to communicate. But nonetheless, uh, as far as uh, our government and so forth is concerned, it looks like President Trump will be releasing a stimulus package. So those affected uh, by this who aren't able to go to work and even industries and companies that may be suffering as a result of it, obviously the travel industry, the airline industry, 
are uh, some of the biggest uh, people that are going to be suffering from this. But uh, overall, everyone really kind of to an extent will because even if, for example, the, the vet or the salons or all these other places that people go to uh, aren't getting you know these sorts of things done that they typically would do or these businesses aren't getting the customers that they would typically get, then obviously it's going to affect them. And even here on the channel, you guys know I plug Amazon quite often to uh, allow uh, you guys to help support the channel. There have been limitations there as far as like items that they're shipping, as well as their employees are trying to keep their employees safe. I had seen a post by a friend of mine whose husband works for UPS and they were showing that one of their drivers had become ill. He called his wife to say, hey, he was coming home, he wasn't feeling well and found out that his wife was uh, tested positive for uh, the particular illness that I almost said uh, with, with this illness. And so, there are a lot of concerns, of course, uh, to maintain and to keep people from, uh, you know, kind of gathering and getting together in certain events and so forth here in the States. And it's been really amazing to think, you know, we're here at the height of what would have been March Madness, the college basketball championship tournament, which is the best basketball ever. And I have mentioned that here on the channel before. I love uh, March Madness and, of course, professional basketball with a player who was actually tested positive. Uh, for that and uh, some of the issues and backlash for some of his antics that uh, he participated in, which he has now apologized for, of course. But nonetheless, uh, and uh, of course, football season, the biggest of uh, sports here in the States, has is obviously uh, in its off season right now, so that's not affected. NASCAR, a lot of the uh, hockey, so a lot of the sports that typically take place now, there's still talk on whether or not they'll proceed with the Olympics. Now, the Olympics are a few months away, so maybe that will still be on. I know that a lot of people here in Atlanta, uh, a lot of you know that I cover um, the, the uh, Dragon Con here in Atlanta, the big uh, sci-fi convention. There hasn't been really any talk as of yet about whether or not they are planning for any cancellations because that's all the way in August and into well, the end of August into September, the beginning of Labor Day uh, weekend. So that's quite a few months off, but we don't really know quite uh, sure how things are starting to unfold because I watch Tim Pool and I watch Styx each day give their commentary on the current news, news in general, and then of course on this illness. I will put a link to both of their channels down here below this video so you guys can check that out because they have really good information. And of course, ADV China, of course, also has very good content on here about this topic as well. So I'll leave a link to those down below. But nonetheless, guys, of course, there's no way to avoid this particular conversation. It is the biggest topic of all and I wanted to mention it to you guys and try to go over just some of the brief stuff right here for you uh, uh, just in, in general coverage. So I uh, wanted to go ahead and release all that information that I was able to give you in a rather kind of almost cryptic language. But nonetheless guys you'll find all the links below this video. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you so much for your continued support. And please leave me uh, some comments down below this video how you are dealing with this particular situation or your community and or your country. I'd be happy to hear from you guys. And of course, appearing there on the screen, that would be the obligatory channel icon that you guys can click on to subscribe as well as click on notifications. That way, guys, you, that way all of you guys will know when there's additional content here on the channel. And I'll see you guys right there behind the camera next week.